Hey everyone, ahoy lady. So you might be wondering, what is this new background that she's talking from? And I have an answer for that. <laughs> so about a month ago, I went on a two week trip to Czech and spoiler alert, I am in Prague right now the background. My trip to Czech originally was for two weeks and it was to come for my grandma's funeral, get to know my family, and just have fun and re-explore Czech for myself. However, all of these experiences have been so life-changing and incredible and I'm back! <laughs> I'm sorry I suck at vlogging so much, but I thought this story was so important that I needed to retell it at least now, even if it's a little late, so that you understand why I am back in check currently. I hope that these videos show you a bit of the fun that I had this summer and give you clarity as to why I'm back here now and what my goals for the future are. This vlog has two parts. This part is gonna show you the beginning of my trip to Prague and my trip to Bratislava, and part two is gonna show you the rest of my trip to Prague. I guess just hanging out with friends and clearly explaining to you why I'm back. So I hope that you enjoy watching these videos from my trips this summer and I look forward to showing you the new videos that I have in store for my current time here. So let's go. first shot, like the first selfie shot of me using my new camera. Hi guys, I am officially in Prague. I'm so, so excited to be back. I have a lot of plans for this week. Do you guys like this camera? I'm so freaking excited about it. It has autofocus, so I'm not gonna have to play with it anymore. I have, I have a real camera. It is my second day here. The first couple days I did not film at all because they were spent with family. The main reason that I came back to Prague this year was to have my grandma's second funeral. So we had that yesterday and it was a really beautiful ceremony. But all of the things related to family, I don't want to document on this channel because they are really special and really private and that is a part of my life that I don't want on the internet. But the reason I say all that is just to re reiterate that the main reason that I'm here is for family and YouTube comes second. I adore YouTube and I adore all of you people who watch this channel, um, but I think everyone should always remember that family is the most important thing and I'm so, so happy to be back with them. So my real goals for this trip are just to meet the people who have been so, so kind to me. I have multiple musicians who have reached out to me and I wanna connect with them because being able to work with them or talk to them has been a dream come true and I'm just so grateful for it. So I wanna tell them thank you in real life and I wanna tell you guys thank you in real life and every one of you guys that has been watching my videos or supporting me in some way have brought me to where I am now and I wanna meet as many of you as possible in real life. So today is my first real day in Prague, just exploring the city and seeing the scenery and everything and being back in it by myself and I'm just so, so happy. I guess I'm gonna try and figure my way out to Old Town and see you guys in a second. <laughs> at my Prague meetup with some really awesome people who came to visit. Thank you guys so much. If you want to say hi. 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 Uh, hi. <laughs> yeah, thank you guys so much for your support and everything. I'm so happy that I could meet you all. Ciao. And then on the fourth day, I traveled to Bratislava. We took a train through the countryside, through Brno and Moravia, and then down into Slovakia. We are officially in the Slovakian border. I had never been to Slovakia in my entire life, so being able to see it and compare it to what I had already seen in Czech was really cool. The countrysides are beautiful, and people don't talk about Slovakia, especially Bratislava, enough. A lot of my friends in LA were making fun of me because they thought it would be like the movie Euro Trip. Bratislava! Dear sweet mother of God. It was nothing like that, for the record. It was 
beautiful and historic and it exceeded everything that I ever thought about Slovakia. I sure look cute. <laughs> so we got to Bratislava a few hours ago and we found our hotel finally. It's kind of outside of the city, so it was a little bit of a trek. I'm just kind of getting ready for the night. Actually, I'll be meeting Sima for the first time ever in real life, and I'm really excited to see her finally. I translated a song in Slovak, her song Spolu, into English, which is called Together. And to be honest, it's one of the most fun projects I've ever done in my life, and to be able to work with her is an honor. She's so cool, and her music is incredible. I guess I'm just gonna get ready, put some makeup on, and look cute so I can go out tonight. So today is my second day in Bratislava. Last night I met Sima for the first time ever and I'm so freaking excited. She's a complete sweetheart and tonight I will be going to her concert. But until then I wanted to do a little bit of shopping near my hotel so I'm going across the street to this shopping center. We'll see what we find. I find it so interesting that the women's sizes in Slovakia are very different too because there's like an extra small is probably what would be a medium or a large in the US and I like that. They actually cater to women's sizes that are normal. So I just finished a little bit of shopping and I ended up getting one thing from this really cool store called Vrishka. I've never heard of it before but I got this like cute little hoodie. It was cheap. It's, yeah, I mean, you can see it. It was like eight euros. Just like super neutral and cute. Tonight now I'm just going to get ready for the concert and I'm super excited. I just want to get a little sentimental for a second. I was just thinking like a few minutes ago how weird it is that literally one year ago, well less than a year ago, six months ago, I discovered Seema through your guys' comments. I played her song Spolu and six months later, we are getting dinner and going to a concert. And it's kind of crazy how in the year 2019 things like this can happen, how you can literally not know someone and be friends through the internet. And even though a lot of people aren't used to it, I think it's one of the blessings of our generation to be able to do that. So yeah, I'm gonna go get ready, put some makeup on and get dressed up. The festival itself was so fun. I got to see multiple Czech and Slovak rappers. The entire place was so high energy and fun and vibrant and everyone was just dancing. Getting to see Sima perform all of her album Podla Seba, especially Spolu and Preteba, was incredible. <laughs> Hey everyone, so I'm back from Hip Hop GA, uh, the music festival I was just at, and it was incredible. It was a really awesome experience. Seema had to leave really quickly to go to her next concert, so I just gave her a hug and wished her bye, but Seema, as I said backstage, it is such an honor to get to know you, and I'm just so incredibly happy that one song on the internet turned into knowing you and into a friendship. You're such a talented musician and awesome person. Dakuyamats, and hopefully I will see you again soon. For the record, you guys, she is equally as sweet and amazing as you think she is. She had multiple concerts the weekend that I came to visit her. I believe she had six in two days, she told me, and she still set aside time to meet me and to show me downtown Bratislava on my first night there. I just really think that's a testament to her character and I just really appreciate you doing that for me, Seema, so thank you. And before I say thank you 50,000 times in this video, just know that I appreciate everything that happens so much. So I am in downtown Bratislava. I am on my way to the meetup and we'll be seeing you guys soon and I have no idea where I'm at. I'm a little confused as to where I am. So hopefully I can find my way around. I'm meeting at Hlavne Namesti.
So I am in Hlavni Namesti and just waiting for people to show up to the meetup. But my last day in Bratislava, day three, I had my Bratislava meetup. And of course, I forgot to film it, but I do have some photos of some of those amazing people up on my Instagram, which I will link down below. Thank you to everyone who showed up to the Bratislava meetup. It was an incredible experience and I'm grateful that some of you got to show me around. After that, I got to meet my amazing subtitle guide, Daniel. Hi, Daniel, if you're editing this. I'm here with my amazing subtitle guide, Daniel. Hey. Finally, it's our first time meeting in two years. Yeah. So he's been helping me since 2017, doing all the awesome subtitles that you will see here. And we're standing next to a giant window of Curtex, which is the most perfect thing. We're just gonna explore Bratislava for the day. His link is also down below, but he has been editing the subtitles of most of my videos since I first started in 2017. Being able to meet him and his friend and just hang out for the afternoon was really fun. We walked around Bratislava and he showed me a little bit of the town, but we had to cut the day short because I was leaving in the afternoon. So I am parting with Nathaniel now. Thank you so much for showing me okay, Bratislava. It was amazing. Best subtitle guy in the world right here. He's amazing and you guys will be seeing him in the bios of all my videos. Thank you so much, Daniel. I'm so, so glad I got to meet you. I love taking trips like this around because it makes the world feel so much smaller when you see how many kind people are really out there and how many people are just waiting to be your friend if you are brave enough to reach out to them. So I'm here at the Bratislava train station just kind of waiting for our train back to Prague and reflecting a lot on the past few days. It's been a three-day trip. I got here Thursday, it's Saturday, and so much has happened in three days that my brain can't really wrap my head around it. I think this whole trip has also just made me question what my priorities are and like what, whenever you see a new way of life, it always makes you compare your life to theirs in a way and think what aspects of your own life you like versus don't like. And I think this trip has really shown me what my priorities are and I have a lot more to think about too because this way of life is so different and the values are so different and the pace is different and it's really making me think about what I want. So I'm gonna need to go home to Prague and think about what I want there. So I ended up taking the trip back from Bratislava to Prague. I didn't have a lot of time to process this trip to Czech and Bratislava because I'd spent so much time trying to meet people that had helped me in some way or family. And I was constantly running from one person to another to another and never really processed. But I think it was at this time in Bratislava that I realized this trip was pretty life-changing for me. This entire trip just really made me question my priorities and my lifestyle and help to open my eyes and see that you can change your life if you want to. You just have to choose to. And if life isn't going the way that you want it, you can change it. And all the wheels in my brain just started turning because I knew that this was gonna mean something. I still don't know what, but I know, I know that I'm so happy I got to go. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you'd like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below. Next week, part two of this vlog will be up. I will be showing you more of my time in Prague and answer some of your questions, I hope, about why I am currently back. Until then, guys, I will see you later. Bye.